And part two. Come on. Okay. Be like part four, that's okay. Uh, oh, that's right. Uh, sorry. Part yeah, yeah, cut it out. Oh yes, yes. Welcome back to the book. You mean Stephanie? Uh, you. Oops. Uh, yes, Stephanie Wright is my editor on this. Very good. That can be like credits on the screen. Okay. So, uh, Bergman. This guy is unranked. He didn't do. Uh, he had this random idea, and he actually did get all the triples. This uh, Swedish dude. And so he got all the triples, but only the primitives, and then you had to multiply to find the rest of them. Right. And then we can do better than that, can't we? All right. Well, we can. November 28th, 1997. <laughs> Why do you know that date so well? Because I wrote it down, of course. 27-year-old, keeping it true for the United States of America, the good old U.S. of A. Young competition name, steps on the scene. And after 4,000 years of all this madness, and that only 27 years figures, that's right, figures out the formula that gets all the Pythagorean triples, whether they're primitive or not. And there we go. Case closed. You found the multiples too? All of them. Every single one of them. This is what he does on his summer vacation. Right well, actually, I was eating Thanksgiving dinner, and I was like, I've got an idea. And it hit me. What, 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 12 hours later, you get the weight there. OK. <laughs> I mean, I toiled yeah, for weeks and weeks. No, I mean, did you just leave the table and you were like, ah. No, I was like writing underneath the table, making notes. My mom was getting mad at me because I was making notes during Thanksgiving dinner. So, I spent some time later and you go. be like, Mom, I'll give you some of this money later. It's like, look, 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 I gotta finish this. This is what you don't get. He's like, oh, I don't ever remember anything. Just cool. Little did they know. You'll never be as good as Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> Now, uh, below, you will see a list of the first 50 Pythagorean triples right there. And just read like a book from left to right. Okay? Those are the first 50. Now, once you get past those first 50 triples, guess what kind of numbers we get into after this one right here? Very large. Then we start getting into the like, triple digit numbers. Exactly. So this is all the ones with one or two digits. Okay, the first exactly one. fifty. All right, exactly fifty. How about that? All right. So now, if you notice how they're ranked, though, if you read it from left to right, how long are these ranked? Smallest. Smallest to biggest by the A term, B term, or C term? Yeah, the A term actually will skip back some, so that's why it's so hard to do a pattern. It's like you're going and you skip back and you're going to skip back. So it turns out that the C terms, how these are ranked, how they're usually ranked, okay? So that's the smallest C you can get in the Pythagorean triple, like this one, this one, okay, that one, right? So that's that. Now, the ones that are in bold are the what? Those are the primitive Pythagorean triples, okay? Those are the ones where their greatest common factor is one. So they've not been multiplied by anything. They're just naturally occurring primitive triples. Okay, and that's all those. All right. Well, let's wait down to 27. Okay, so let's uh, turn over the back. How the old days. Okay, so how do we crack the case? All right, on the back page. Do you notice what kind of triples are in the first column? Primitive. All the primitives. Do you notice what's in column two? Every other one. Yeah, the, the second column are all those doubles that they are. Okay. And the third column are all those triples. And you just rank them by, here are the primitives, here are the doubles, here are the triples, here are the quadruples. And a lot of people try to do it this way and try to get a pattern. The only problem is you can't get it. You go from three to five, okay, that's up two. Then you go up three, now you're going back one. How do I make a pattern out of that? Okay. So let's go to the breakthrough. That's right. Let's go to the mind of Pete Wade and see what happens next. Okay. This is where the magic school bus came. Um, yes, that's right. All right. Now, I'm going to help give it away a little bit by looking up here. This says H equals 1. What's 1? Figure that out. H stands for height. Okay. But height, height is not like the height of the triangle. Now, the height is not like the height of the triangle. 
It's a word that my dad and I came up with to describe this when we wrote the paper. All right? So here's what the height is. Do you see anything in this first column that is 1? No. But it has to do with the number 1. Where is there a 1? They're all 1. They're all 1. They're all 1. They're Oh, the last one. The last two, it's minus 1. Okay. The distance between the B and C term, that is called the height of a triple. And that's what the pattern is. Okay? Putting them together by C minus B. So height is just C term minus B term. So that is something about that. Okay? So if you categorize them by the distance between the B and the C term, now look over here. Does this go in a nice pattern here? Yeah. Up by 2, up by 2, up over oh, there. Very nice. And in this column, they go up an even amount. This column as well. Same thing. Very nice. Very good. Right? And actually, the 8, 15, 17, that was the breakthrough because I had read it in a book. And I thought, I've never seen an 8, 15, 17. That's actually a triple, so I was doing it in my head. I was like, ooh, it actually works. And then, for some reason, I don't know why, when I thought of the 6, 8, 10, and the 10, 24, 26, and the fact that they're all gap 2 right there, and said, forget about all this business. Let's link it together by a vote. And sure enough, now it gets a lot more complicated than that. That's just the tip of the iceberg. And we won't go too far with it because it'll be mind boggling. But that's where it started right there. So if you group them by heights, and you can see that the ones are all primitives, every one of them. And the twos are every other one. Three, four, five, six, seven can never be primitives. They're only the multiples that create those, and that's it. Okay? And then the eights are kind of spotty, the nines are crazy, the 144 gap is insane, the 288 gap is just crazy. And you have all these weird patterns out there, and you have to try to link them all together with one gigantic formula. That's the hard one. Okay? What we got? 12 hours later. All right? So, here's a scoop. There's a little uh, snippet, actually, of the publication of the wave there, right there. That's, uh, that's page 104 right there, as a matter of fact. Very complex stuff. You'll need a little bit of college math before you can get into that right there. 